Welcome to FBLA PBL's webinar designed to provide you with tips to create a legacy of leadership this year with FBLA PBL. I'm National Membership Director Lisa Smothers and joining me for today's webinar is Communications Manager Laura Morgan. We encourage you to submit questions at any time during the broadcast using the GoToWebinar toolbar at the top right of your screen. We will answer questions at the end of this presentation. Let's start with a snapshot of our organization. FBLA PBL is a nonprofit educational association preparing members for careers in business and business related fields. In 1942, the first FBLA chapter was chartered at Science Hill High School in Johnson City, Tennessee. PBL joined the organization in 1958 with our first chapter at the University of Northern Iowa. The Alumni Division, which is now called the Professional Division, was established in 1979, and the FBLA Middle Level was added in 1994 for students in grades 5 through 9. FBLA is the largest division with 206,000 members. PBL has approximately 10,000 members, and the professional division reaches over 3,000 members. FBLA Middle Level has more than 20,000 members. All four divisions work to uphold our mission. We bring business and education together through state and national leadership in educational activities such as the stock market game and the virtual business challenge, as well as service projects that help both the school and community. Knowing and understanding our mission will help you sell the benefits of FBLA PBL to potential members, administrators, and the community. It's never too early to start earning national recognition for next year's NLC in Anaheim, California. In addition to recognizing our competitive event winners, we honor many outstanding members and chapters for their accomplishments throughout the year, including who's who, scholarship winners, and more. Today we're going to tell you about some of the programs you can begin working on now to receive national recognition. To celebrate FBLA PBL's 75th anniversary, we developed a new chapter recognition program exclusively for the 2016-17 membership year, Diamond Chapter. Chapters have all year to complete 10 of the 19 possible activities for this program. The first three are required, then you get to choose which remaining seven your chapter will complete. The three required activities are, number one, earn the Membership Achievement Award. All you have to do for this is increase your chapter membership by at least one over last year's final number, then submit the award form. It's that easy. Number two, submit at least one article with photos for tomorrow's business leader for FBLA and FBLA middle level or the PBL business leader for PBL. You get credit for submitting the article whether or not it is published. Just go online at go.fbla.org news to submit. There's also a submission link on the homepage of the national website. Number three, and the final required activity, is for your chapter to create a chapter recruitment plan. Just tell us how you plan to recruit and retain members this year. Then, you only need to choose seven of the remaining 16 activities to complete. All chapters earning Diamond Chapter status will be printed in the National Leadership Conference Program in Anaheim, and members attending the conference will receive a name badge ribbon. Our national programs provide our members with unique opportunities to practice the skills and knowledge that they are learning in the classroom. Another great way to earn recognition is through the Chapter Challenge. This consists of Super Sweeps, Nonstop November, and Action Awareness. Super Sweeps is going on right now. Chapters must complete four required activities and six other activities from a list of optional activities for a total of ten overall. Activities that chapters can participate in range from recruiting five paid underclassmen to preparing recruitment flyers and fact sheets or planning an induction ceremony for members. The deadline for submission is October 20th at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. The top 10 FBLA states and the top 5 PBL and top 5 FBLA middle level states with the most super sweeps points are recognized on stage at the NFLCs. Chapters meeting all requirements and submitting the form will receive special ribbons for chapter delegates attending the NFLC and again at the NLC. 
Now is the time to start recruiting and getting in those dues before the October 20th deadline. You want your members to get the most benefit out of being an FBLA PBL member, so the earlier the better. Make sure to reach out to prospective students so they can join this amazing association. We also have several ways for members to earn individual recognition. Our main programs are the Business Achievement Awards, or BAA for FBLA, the Career and Membership Achievement Program, or CMAP for PBL, and the Middle Level Achievement Program, or MAP for the FBLA Middle Level. Each of these programs offers members many options which are centered around the words on our FBLA PBL crust service, education, and progress. Members earn a lapel pin for each level they complete. BAA has four levels, Future, Business, Leader, and America. The three levels of CMAP are Director, Executive, and President. And MAP also has three levels, Entrepreneur, Business, and Enterprise. You can learn more about these programs and other recognition awards on our national website. This is a great time to begin or even continue recruiting new members. Tell them about the national programs and how they can earn recognition. There are many national resources available for your chapter to help you succeed this year. Each year, your chapter receives a membership poster to display in your advisor's classroom or around campus. This year's poster highlights our anniversary theme, a legacy of leadership. You can also download this file from our website and print more posters to display in your school. Students should pay dues right away so they can be submitted by October 20th, which is the first membership deadline to receive fall publications and to earn membership awards at the National Fall Leadership Conferences. Remember, students do not receive membership benefits until dues are paid at the national level. One of the best resources available to members and chapters is our national website at fbla-pbl.org. Here you can find important dates, competitive event information, award forms, and more. Be sure to check it out for the latest information. The most important resource that any chapter has is its membership. Many local chapters form a recruitment committee that involves both new and returning members. Get the word out about FBLA PBL. Let people know what FBLA PBL has to offer. Remember, people like visuals. Create a chapter display case and keep it up to date with pictures, articles, and awards. Design chapter t-shirts for all members to wear on the day of chapter meetings. The FBLA PBL marketplace can make custom chapter t-shirts for your local chapter. And finally, talk it up. Members who are enthusiastic about FBLA PBL will spark an interest in other prospective members. One of the most important things to remember when recruiting is to set a goal for your chapter. How many new members would you like to gain? It's always good to set high expectations. Next, make a game plan. Create a list of steps you will take in order to recruit your new members. What kind of people are you looking to attract? How will you advertise? What will you say once you have caught the attention of new members? Remember to involve students who were members of your chapter last year. You should rely on them for help with your recruiting efforts. Be sure to look at national FBLA PBL programs and awards such as the Membership Achievement Award to help you set membership goals that can earn national recognition for your chapter. You need to plan to meet on a regular basis. How often will be up to the advisor? With other school organizations and clubs competing for membership, it's important that FBLA PBL makes a lasting impression on prospective new members. Publicity is critical in order to communicate to your students what FBLA PBL does, what it stands for, and the opportunities any person can experience as a member. Remember, food helps. Developing an agenda is an extremely important way to keep everyone on track and focused on our mission. Have your officers discuss the different activities that the local chapter will participate in. Be sure to look at national programs for ideas to earn national recognition for your members and chapter. Hand out a recruitment brochure highlighting events and important dates. If your officers utilize an agenda to stay organized and make the meetings informative and fun, you'll be well on your way to a successful year. FBLA PBL members constantly use technology, so use it to your advantage. When students join your chapter, ask for their cell numbers and email addresses. 
<clears throat> divide up the list among your local chapter officers so they can text reminders to members about meetings, projects, and activities. If your members are active on Facebook, create a page or group for your chapter to keep everyone up to date on the latest chapter news and announcements. Have a chapter scavenger hunt where members find information on the national website. There's a lot of useful information about national programs, partners, scholarships, and awards. And be sure to use social media to promote your chapter. Create a chapter Instagram account to share photos from your meetings, events, and projects. And don't forget to use the official anniversary hashtag for your FBLA PBL related posts on social media this year. Hashtag FBLA PBL 75. And follow the national FBLA social media accounts, including our new Snapchat account, to see the latest information, announcements, and maybe even some contests throughout the anniversary year. FBLA PBL offers several incentives to local chapters and members to help build membership. Members recruiting either five or ten new members are rewarded with a certificate of recognition through the Membership Madness and Membership Mania programs. Chapters are recognized with certificates of recognition for increasing their membership totals from the previous year or signing up all students in one class for FBLA PBL. Increase chapter membership from last year by 10 or more members and your chapter will receive the Connect 10 award. Please note a chapter may only receive 100% class participation for one class each year and that's for signing up everybody in your class. April 1st is the deadline for many of these awards. Our curriculum related programs provide our members with unique opportunities to practice the skills and knowledge that they are learning in the classroom. From the virtual business challenge to lead to feed, the possibilities are endless. Plan to visit a local business for American Enterprise Day on November 15th and celebrate World Prematurity Awareness Day on November 17th by raising funds and awareness for the March of Dimes. Information on these programs and all of our partners can be found on the Chapter Management Handbook or online under Membership Benefits. We hope you're making plans to attend one of the National Fall Leadership Conferences this November. Each city will feature a state officer track where your FBLA and PBL state teams will learn how to use national programs and social media to recruit and retain members and you'll be able to network with FBLA, PBL, and Professional Division National Officers. Each city will also host FBLA Foundations, offering FBLA freshmen and sophomore members a chance to learn about FBLA PBL and the leadership opportunities available while networking with National Officers. And the FBLA Middle Level Program, designed specifically for our Middle Level members, will be held exclusively at the Daytona Beach NFLC. Members can bring printed copies of their resumes to each NFLC to have them reviewed and critiqued by professional division members. Now let's take a look at what you can expect at this year's NFLCs.
this video with your chapter to get them excited for the NFLCs. It is available on the homepage of our website and on FBLA PBL's YouTube channel. The NFLCs aren't the only national conferences this year. The best and the brightest of FBLA and PBL convene to compete, network, earn recognition, attend exciting workshops, and visit exhibits at our National Leadership Conference next summer in Anaheim, California. Next year's NLC will be here before you know it, so start working now to earn your place at this wonderful event. Thank you, Lisa. Now it's time for us to answer your questions. If we run out of time before we get to your specific question, we will email you individually. It looks like we had a few um, that were asked during our presentation, so we'll start with the first one. So our first question is, um, what is the membership deadline? Ms. Smothers? That's a really good question. Um, we actually have a few membership deadlines and sometimes it varies by state, but our first membership deadline is October 20th and that's to receive and be eligible for your fall membership awards and your fall publications. So um, then you have to check with your state because some states have different deadlines because they may have district competitive events, regional and state conferences, so I would also check with your state advisor. Then on the national level, for FVLA and middle level, our national membership deadline is March 1st and that's to be eligible for, um, for competitive events and for FVLA voting and for middle level, the open events, and it's April 15th for PBL. Thank you. Okay, our next question is, what is the criteria or where can I find more information on the Diamond Chapter Award? Ms. Smothers, do you want to answer this one? Sure. Um, the Diamond Chapter is our new program and a lot of people are really excited about it. It's just a one-year program for our 75th anniversary and you can find the information under the membership programs. I believe it's on our home page and um, if you click on your division and go to the national programs, you can do that. There's also a flyer that we put out in the state officer boardroom. We've also put it out on social media. Um, your state advisors have received information on it. And every local advisor should have received information on it. The handbooks are just hitting now, so it's also on that. Also for local advisors, if you're interested in any of the programs, go to the advisors area and you'll be able to see information on that as well. Great, thank you. Um, one other note is, there's a short link that you can use to find more information, and it's go.fbla.org slash diamond. And that should give you access to the criteria and the application for that award. Okay. Let's see. Our next question is, do you have any recruitment ideas for starting a Phi Beta Lambda chapter? Ms. Smothers? Sure. Um I think that some of the most successful chapters really put out like a display booth and they have their members out there and you might be displaying like former uh, formal awards and like maybe a chapter scrapbook and different things that your chapter has done and really I always tell my officers to have an elevator speech or have something like a 30 second speech about what it's done for you because really I think it comes it comes more from a student and it means more from a student. I know that some of our chapters, like at University of Wisconsin-Madison, they do something called chalking where they write in chalk like on the sidewalks of the campus, the meeting times, I've, I've seen flyers go up, I've seen a lot of things. I always think that food helps, especially if you're a college student, so you know, kind of plan to have food at the meetings, but make sure that you actually have the food after the meeting so they stay for the meeting first. Always a good idea. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, the next question is, what is the state officer boardroom and how can we get into it if we're state officers? Ms. Smothers? Sure, the state officer boardroom is on Facebook and it's really where the state, the national officers update any of their programs or we at the National Center will put updates and social media updates or what's going on at the National Center. You can also have some of the states share their state newsletters. So um, your state advisor, either ask them and they can get a hold of us or you can also email me directly and I can add you to the uh, Facebook. I'm also on Facebook so you can find me and 
you can message me that you want to be on it as well. But if you want to email me, my email is membershipdir at fbla.org. And if you are a state officer and aren't on it, I would really recommend that you do because all of our state, most of our state advisors are also on it, and they actually really enjoy the fact where they can kind of see what's going on as well. Okay, thank you. Okay, our next question says, I'm new, so I'm still trying to figure things out. Are the NFLCs this fall also for PBL? Ms. Smothers? Sure, NFLCs are for anybody, FBLA, PBL, middle level, and advisors. So yes, we have workshops at every site for PBL, and there's a variety of different workshops. If you're a PBL state officer, um, you're definitely invited to the state officer track, and you'll find that useful. Uh, one of the things that I always like about the state officer track is you're really interacting with your FBLA counterparts, and that's really cool. And you know, the first opening thing is a networking session that they have um, Friday evening, kind of a networking reception, and that's always a lot of fun. Um, the biggest benefit, I think, for PBL members is really that you're interacting with those business leaders and you're networking, and some of those contacts, they really last a lifetime. Great thoughts. Okay, it looks like we have time for just a couple more questions. So, um, let me see. Our next question is, when uploading the documents required for completing one of the specific challenges, like Diamond Chapter, do all of the documents need to be uploaded at one time, or can they be uploaded as the steps are met? I'll address this one. Um, it depends on the program. For Diamond Chapter, everything has to be uploaded and submitted at one time. Um, that's the way with most of our programs except for the Outstanding Chapter Program and the Business Achievement Awards and CMAP programs. You can add those um, as you complete certain steps and come back and finish it later. Uh, Ms. Smothers, do you want to add to any of that? Yeah, I, the most important thing with the BAA or the CMAP is that uh, the award is not complete until the advisor logs back in and kind of reviews it. So we do ask the advisor to review it and kind of make sure everything is right. And then the advisor submits it. Once that advisor submits it, the award is actually processed. And it's kind of like an automated processing that goes on and it's automatically updated to the website. Um, remember for membership madness and market share, all of those are all online forms now. So we don't take hard copy forms. So just make sure you check for those forms in the advisor area if you're an advisor. Yes, and that's one update we have this year is for FBLA middle level for the MAP program, those awards are all going to be submitted online as well. So for any of our middle level members or advisors watching, um, be sure that you check that out because we will not be accepting the paper forms at the office this year. So now you don't have to, don't have to mess with mailing anything to us. Okay, looks like we have time for one more question. So um, the last one we'll do, and I know we still have a couple more on here, so like I said, we'll email you um, to get back to you with answers to these. We appreciate all of you um, asking these questions today. So our final is, are the Facebook State Officer Boardrooms for each division separate, or is there one boardroom I should join? Mrs. Smothers? There are actually two separate ones. So the, the FBLA State Officer Boardroom is for the FBLA State Officers and the PBL is for PBL. Um, so when you're searching for it, you can also search for it on Facebook. It's a closed group, but if you say that you want to join, I'll also get a notice saying that through Facebook. So that's another way to do it. One of the great things about both of those boardrooms that I really like is it's not only current officers, you still have a lot of former officers that check in that are out in their careers now. So those are some good contacts that are in there as well. Great. Thanks for clarifying that. Well, it looks like that's all the time that we have today. So we thank all of you for joining us, and we hope you join us for our next webinar um, where we'll give you more information on the upcoming NFLCs, and that's scheduled for Wednesday, October 5th at 4 p.m. Eastern Time. Um, this presentation will be hosted by FBLA PBL Conference Director Richard Bowen and will offer a sneak peek at the three upcoming NFLCs, which will be held in November. You can register for this and future webinars through the links on our homepage. Thank you again for joining us, and we hope you have a great week.